Hi, hi, it's your friendly neighborhood VTuber, so we're here again with a new Vinian tutorial. Today, we're going to look into one of Vinian's new features, which is the node block system. This will allow you to reorganize your node graphs and make them much less of a mess as they may have been up until this point. So, let's look into it, shall we? Today, we're going to look into one of Vinian's new features, which is the block system. So you may be like, what is the block system? Basically, to put it simply, it's a way to group the nodes in your node graph. For example, you could just right click on the workspace and add a block. Now this adds a reshapeable or resizable box, like so. You can give it a name, and you can also change its color. Now, what does this actually do is you can put nodes inside it. Let's say you had a random node craft there that did something. Something very random like this. Now, this block could be made to contain these specific nodes. You could lock it, after which you can't edit it anymore, but you can easily drag the whole thing around. Now, another option is that you keep it open. And now you can shift plus left drag to move the whole thing around. Now, if you do have another node somewhere like so, and you drag an open group on top of that, and then release the buttons and start tracking again, then the new node will be added to it. It is recommended that once you are done with your specific nodes, that you lock the group like so. And this will mainly help you reorganize your node graphs into something that is more easier to use. Now, the blocks can be copied. So you can pass the, like a whole block. You can also put it in a different node graph if you want to. You can also delete the whole block, either without nodes or with the nodes. In addition to this, you can also copy the block to clipboard, like so. Copying to clipboard means that you can easily share this with other users. You could then pass it, for example, to Notepad or Discord or wherever you want to share this graph. Now, anyone who has this code can just copy it and then in Vinion they can right click on their workspace and import from clipboard and this will import the block that you pasted there. In addition to working like this you can also go for your existing graph. Now let's say we had a graph like this. We could right click any of these nodes and select prop connected nodes. And this will automatically create a block for us that combines all of these connected nodes into a group and also locks it. So this will be an easy way for you to convert your existing node graphs into blocks. I hope today's tutorial was useful for you, and as always, if you run into any questions, feel free to either type it down in the comments, or better yet, join our Discord, because we have a full team of Vinian ambassadors who are very much capable of answering any questions that you may have. Anyway, see you next time, cuties. Bye-bye!